What's going on, everyone? You are listening to Locked On Now, NHL, local experts on the biggest stories around the ice. I'm your host, Kim Becker, and thanks so much for making us your first listen every weekday. Our Locked On NHL hosts are here to help break down everything from Wednesday night. The Toronto Maple Leafs dominated at home in yesterday's biggest game. The Biggest Game The Toronto Maple Leafs look like a Stanley Cup contender right now, and their hot streak came to a peak against the Avalanche on Wednesday night. Eight goals will beat most teams on most days, and Locked On Maple Leafs tells you how Toronto used them to beat Colorado. The Buds lay a beatdown on the Avs in Toronto. Hey, I'm Mike DiStefano from Locked On Leafs and the Toronto Maple Leafs beating the Colorado Avalanche by a score of 8-3. to You heard that right, 8-3, to an absolute drubbing. The Toronto Maple Leafs laid to at on the Colorado Avalanche. Austin Matthews with a hat trick tonight. This guy is on fire right now. He's got 13 goals on the year. John Tavares, 3 points. William Nylander, 3 points. Points. He had a three-point night from Michael Bunting. Many other guys hitting the score sheet tonight. It was point night in Toronto. The Maple Leafs, a massive, massive victory. They've now won five in a row, and this was a big one, folks. This was somewhat of a litmus test going up against a, a team who was coming in, winners of seven of their last eight. Nathan McKinnon was rejoining the team. Things looked uh, like it was going to be a tough matchup, but Toronto came out firing. They scored early, they scored often, and they won big. I'll be talking all about this game over at Locked on Leafs. I'm Mike DiStefano. Once again, final score, 8-3 Toronto over Colorado. The Colorado Avalanche got off to a decent start this season and hope to continue to prove that they're the real deal with a win in Toronto against the Maple Leafs. Toronto quickly shut down those hopes and pummeled Colorado. And Locked on Avalanche sorts through what the scoring storm left behind. The Colorado Avalanche start their first of five road games in a highly anticipated matchup against the Toronto Maple Leafs and come in and lay an absolute dud of a game. And they lose 8-3. to three. This was all Toronto. There was a point in time where the Avalanche did trail 3-2, to two, but then Toronto just decided to turn it up again and just leave the Avalanche in the dust. This was not a good game by the Avs. They had all the pieces back. They had Nathan McKinnon back for the the first time in three weeks. The only injury was to Darcy Kemper, who was a late scratch about a half hour before the game started. It likely would not have mattered in this game. Austin Matthews with a hat trick. Toronto just did whatever they wanted to do while preventing the Avalanche from doing anything that they were trying to do. It was ugly from start to finish. Uh, Not the way you want to start a road trip. And there's going to be questions asked now because the Avalanche have been playing well, but the teams that they've been beating have not been to the caliber of the Maple Leafs. So you were looking forward to this game. And then when you go in and you're not even anywhere close to what Toronto brought, there's going to be some valid questions asked. The good news is you don't have to wait long to redeem this game. You're playing tomorrow night against Montreal. But again, that is a team that is nowhere near what Toronto is. Uh, So maybe Montreal catches the wrath of the Avalanche. But when the Avs are going up against teams like this, you want a better performance, and you just did not get that from them. So hopefully the Avs can uh, learn from this and move on from this game and get as far away from this game as humanly possible, as quickly as possible. The Philadelphia Flyers played on the big stage of Madison Square Garden and couldn't beat the Rangers. New York cruised to a three-goal win, while Locked on Flyers now looks at a seven-game losing streak. Hi, this is Rachel Donner with the Locked on Flyers podcast here with Russ Cohen at Madison Square Garden after the Flyers fall to the New York Rangers 4-1. to one. It's their seventh straight loss. Russ, what was the biggest issue for the Flyers in this game? The biggest issue, and they never could really grab momentum for more than just a few moments at a time. They didn't have puck possession again. The power play definitely uh, took away some of their life, just the the lack of their power play. I mean, you get a five-minute power play and where they get six, seven shots on goal, like it was bad. Uh, They they were okay early in the game, but then once they were down 2-0, then the energy level wasn't great. And so there was that issue too. So it just overall, 
a bad game. I don't care what the coach said. This was this was a bad game, and they need to do better in this. You're not getting out of a losing streak playing this kind of game. Yeah, I think they had flashes of some really good sustained pressure, but I think ultimately they were just too slow to get to the puck a lot of times and just allowing the Rangers to get back into it anytime the Flyers felt like they had a little bit of momentum. But for more on this game and the Flyers all season long, tune in to the Locked On Flyers podcast. Coming up next, the Red Wings won their fourth in a row and the Ducks and Golden Knights went on a scoring spree in Anaheim. This holiday season, why don't you guys grab a protein bar that tastes like a candy bar or even better than a candy bar? Built Bar is filled with so much holiday goodness, rich with decadent flavor, covered in chocolate, but amazingly low in calories, sugar, net carbs, and fat, and high in protein. You have to get a Built Bar, you guys. They are delicious and they are healthy. They give you the extra fuel that you need to bust down those mall doors and battle all the holiday shoppers. Or if you're just standing in endless shopping lines, you have a snack with Built Bar and you need to have one with you at all times. It is going to just be your little extra something or it's going to keep you going. Throw one in your jacket or your purse. You never know when you're going to need it. People are so passionate about their favorite flavor, you guys, too. There are so many different ones. They'll fight for it. And these things could get out of hand. So because it's the season of peace and love, don't bring your favorite Bilt Bar at family parties. But are you friends with Santa? Well, tell Santa to throw in a few Bilt Bars in those stockings. With so many flavors, they make anyone's Christmas morning a happy one. You want to cozy up with something warm. Also, this is a holiday secret here, you guys. Dip your Bilt Bar into a piping hot cup of cocoa. Let it melt a little and give your beverage a bit of that Bilt Bar flavor. Plus, you'll have a nice melty Bilt Bar to go with it. But make sure you have a couple napkins on hand because these things will get messy. Like I said, all chocolate. Like some of those marshmallowy treats around the holidays, well, you need to get your hands on Built Bar Puffs. They're light, they're fluffy, and they're marshmallowy through and through. Different flavors all covered in chocolate. Tastes so good, you won't believe that they're filled with protein. Go to Built.com and use our promo code LOCKED15 to get 15% off your order. Welcome back to Locked On Now NHL. I'm Kim Becker, and the Detroit Red Wings goalie hit a career milestone for our best performance. The best performance. Hold up, hold up, hold up. The Detroit Red Wings have plenty to celebrate today. Detroit won its fourth in a row, and their goalie hit a huge mark, which Locked On Red Wings is here to tell you more about. Thomas Grice gets career win number 150 as the Detroit Red Wings take down the Seattle Kraken 4-3 here at Little Caesars Arena and make it a four-game win streak. It took a shootout, but they got it done. Robbie Fabry slid right up into the top line and got a goal because Tyler Bertuzzi was out due to COVID protocols. Vlad Nemesnikov got a goal and rookie of the month, Lucas Raymond with his 10th goal of the season. He is the gift that keeps on giving for the Detroit Red Wings. Scotty and I are going to break the whole thing down for you. Make sure you guys stay tuned to Locked On Red Wings. That's a wrap for us. Thanks so much for making Locked On Now your first listen every weekday. For more on the National Hockey League and your favorite team, make your second listen Locked On NHL and your team's Locked On podcast. I'm Kim Becker. This has been Locked On Now. Locked On your team every day.